Hey guys, I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to do your makeup for the street dance showcase. Remember, it might be a bit heavier than usual makeup, but it's stage makeup, so it'll make sure you stand out whilst you're performing. So first, you're going to start off with your base makeup, which is basically like you're like making your skin look nice. Um, if you don't want to do this or you're like a bit young to do this, just put powder, like translucent powder all over your face. And that should make sure that you um, don't look shiny whilst you're on stage because there's quite bright lights. But if you're going to do the full base makeup, start off with like a primer. So I'm just going to use this one. And that'll just make sure, um, or a moisturiser if you've got dry skin, that'll just make sure the foundation that you're going to use sticks to your face and it doesn't melt off when you're really hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and rub that all over my face. I'm now going to put concealer on to um, brighten up any areas that I think need brightening or cover up any red patches. Oh, and I forgot to say you should get a concealer like a few shades, like a shade lighter than your actual skin tone. Because then it really works to brighten it up. I know I look really crazy right now, but just trust the process. Um, I forgot to say that after you've put the concealer on, use like a wet blending sponge or like a brush to blend it in so it looks really natural. Um, then you're going to get a foundation, like whichever matches your skin tone, because you really don't want it to be a different colour from your neck. You want them to be the same, and then it's like seamless. You want to put this, like, I put this like all over my face, but if you don't think it needs to go all over your face, you can just put it like wherever you want it to go but I would I like to get one that's like really long lasting isn't too heavy so like when you sweat in it doesn't like melt off and one that um is like definitely the same color as your face and doesn't like yeah basically that's like stays on for ages so now my face is like a fully blank canvas I've put it over my eyes and my lips um I'm gonna set it with like just <laughs> I know, just some fell out but I'm just gonna set it with a powder um just like a, a clear powder because then it won't fall off and um it'll like stay on for ages and it won't look shiny because you really don't want it to look shiny on stage because it just is not it's not a good look and it's just more comfortable if it's like not like wet whilst it's on your face so after i've done that i'm gonna um i'm gonna get some bronzer and some blusher because my face right now looks so white and so pale but that's because when I put the foundation on, it's just blanked out my whole face. So you want to add in that dimension again with blusher and bronzer. So I'm going to go in and do that. Now this is not a necessity, but I like to use highlighter. Um, and that's basically like a slight shimmer that you put on the high points of your face. For example, like your nose and your cheekbones and your brow bone. And that really just adds like a lot of dimension. And it really like shines when you're on stage. So it looks really good. So now I've done all the base makeup, I'm going to start on the eyes and I'm going to be using the James Charles palette but you can use like any eyeshadow palette that has like bright colours in it but before we do the eyeshadow I'm going to be doing my eyebrows and this isn't a necessity but if you just want to like, they really frame your face well and if you um, put some brow gel or like fill them in it can really add dimension to your face and that looks really good so I'm going to go and do my eyebrows. I didn't say earlier but what I used to do my eyebrows is the Morphe Arch Obsessions kit. So now you've done your eyebrows you might want to get onto the eyeshadow and this is really exciting because um, I recommend using like a blue eyeshadow um, and really sparkly glitters because that will really bring out your eyes when you're on stage because if you go for like a more neutral look like you would wear like if you were going out for a dinner or something you won't be able to see it on the stage and if you wear like blue for example the stage lights really hit it and like you, it just defines your eyes like it doesn't even look that blue on stage it just looks like You've got really nice eyes. So I'm going to use the James Charles palette. I'm going to use like all the blue colours. And um, I'm going to do like a sort of like quite dramatic blue eye. And then you can properly see it on stage. So I've nearly done one eye. And I just wanted to explain what I'd done. So basically what I did is I used um, this colour of blue. This one here which is like one of the lightest ones. And I like blended this all over my eyelid. And then I got um, this one here. Like a slightly darker one. And I put that at the corner to like um, make it look a bit smoky. And then I got um, like an icy blue shade which is actually glittery. It doesn't look glittery on the camera but it is glittery in real life. And I put that all over like the inner bit of my lid to really make it pop. And so when the stage lights hit it it'll like sparkle. But if you really, if you like want to add more sparkle you can get like actual glitter and put that on your eyes. You just want to make sure it won't fall off and like go all over your face. Because I've been to a show before and I've put glitter all over my eye and it's fallen off and gone like and stuck to my face and in all the pictures I had like glitter all over my face so don't do that but um yeah I would recommend put 
put in a shimmery shade on your eyelid. So I'm going to go and do the other eye because I've only like half finished this one, I haven't done this one. And you don't want to turn up to the show like this. So I went ahead and finished the eyes. I put some mascara on. So again, that'll really brighten your eyes up and make them really pop. Um, so after you've done this, this is the last step and this is really important even if you're not going to put any makeup on at all well like this obviously if you don't want to wear it then fine but I think this just makes you look so much better if you put red lipstick on because it really just like it like really makes you stand out and it just makes you look really fierce and so I would like recommend putting red lipstick on but um you don't have to like buy any fancy red lipstick but I like to line my lips before and put lip gloss on afterwards um, as long as you know it's not going to smear anywhere and don't get it on your costumes, then that's fine. But I'm going to go ahead and put some red lipstick on. Okay guys, this is the finished makeup look. Um, if you have any setting spray or anything that you think will help the makeup stick, then use that. That's great. Um, but yeah, just have a good time and make sure you don't get makeup on any of your costumes because... It's really hard to get out and especially red lipstick on like white costumes like this, don't, just don't risk it. <laughs>